Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today and spend these few moments in God's Word and in prayer. This week we are sharing a few insights that might help us experience healing after abuse or trauma. Now perhaps you yourself may not have encountered such difficult situations in life, but maybe you know of somebody. And so the things that you hear and we talk about, you could pass on to somebody, share with them, perhaps even encourage them to listen to these devotionals during the course of this week, and God may touch them and heal them. One of the important things for us to understand as we seek to experience healing after abuse or trauma is for us to come into a place of safety. The wrong thing to do is to stay on in a place where you're continuing to be abused or traumatized in some way or another. It's wisdom that when you experience or recognize that you are being abused or going through trauma, it's wisdom to move into a place of safety. In Psalm 71 verses 1 through 4, the psalmist says, In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong refuge, to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. It's a powerful prayer to pray, especially if someone is experiencing abuse uh, or probably going through trauma. But I want to bring our attention to what it says in verse 3. As the psalmist prays, Lord, be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. A refuge is a place of safety. He uses metaphors like God being his rock and his fortress. That means in God and in God alone is my complete security. Whereas man around me or situations around me might be hurting me, there's one place where I can go where I will have complete security. And the psalmist points us to the Lord. So spiritually, emotionally, we need to turn completely to God, for He is the place of refuge. And even in practically, if we can remove ourselves, move to a place where you can be supported, uh, loved, be amongst people who will help in this healing process, that is wisdom. So both spiritually and practically, we must move to a place of refuge, a place of safety. Let's pray. Lord, we ask today that if there be people, Lord, who are experiencing abuse or going through something very difficult, Lord, we pray that we will find in you a place of refuge that we can resort to continually. And may they also have friends and people around them who will help them, strengthen them, and bring healing, help bring healing to them. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.